Hey there, welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Too busy to travel the world, too afraid to start your own business. Maybe you cling to stability too much to try and live out your rock star dreams. Well, you can change all of that today just by living like it's your last year. Clint Arthur is an entrepreneur, life coach, speaker, and author of several books, including Last Year of Your Life, and he's here to share the lessons he learned after bouncing back from a low point in his life. Welcome. It's great Welcome to be Clint. alive. It is great to be alive. We're <laughs> yeah. so happy to have you here. So let's hit on that backstory that you said that changed your life. One night I was at a men's self-help campfire and the shaman on the other side of the crackling orange and yellow flames pointed at me and said, you don't know it yet, but you're already dead. What? And I said, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm the most successful guy here. I was driving a cab eight years ago. Today I'm a multimillionaire. Okay. I live in a mansion. What do you mean I'm dead? He goes, you're already dead, you just don't know it. Mm. What did he mean and by that? I didn't know what he meant, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I would wake up in the middle of the night mumbling to myself, I'm already dead, I'm already dead, what does that mean? And then came to be New Year's Day, 2009, and I sat down to write my goals for the year, yeah. and I asked myself the question, what would I want to do this year if this was going to be the last year of my life? And that changed wow. everything. Did you do everything on that list? Well, I hadn't written a word. I, I didn't do everything, but I got like 80% of the nice. things on that Well, that's list. very similar to what Steve Jobs, the way that Steve Jobs approached life, because he actually said, remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. So tell us in one sentence, how did you apply that to your life? It's really simple. Anybody can do it. Imagine that one year from today, you're going to be dead. Now, mm. break it down into 52 weeks and write out the things you want to accomplish but and make it But how do I happen. stop myself from just becoming hedonistic? Because then it makes me think, oh, let me just go do everything that's wild and it, crazy. It's very interesting because that year I built a factory for my company. I wrote my book so that I could preserve the wisdom I had learned at the Wharton Business School for my kid. I lost weight and recommitted to my marriage. And mm. really, you don't know what's going to happen to you. When, so when you, you determined your values first and then went after them. Because you said my marriage is a value, my legacy is a value, um, giving back through my factory is a value, et cetera, et cetera. You're good, you. <laughs> oh, it's almost like he's a behavior expert. I, I, I wonder, yeah. So, okay, you have this formula. It's called ALIVE. And very quickly, let's just run through the acronym here. A is awareness that this could be the last year of your life. Mm -hmm. L, let go of your past mistakes. We've all made mistakes. Right. Don't let it hold you back. I, inspire yourself with great goals and dreams that get you excited to get out of bed in the morning. Love that. V, visualize how to make it happen. It's not just enough to say, I want to do it. You have to figure out how to do it. Right. And then E, energize yourself with three-dimensional energy, including good nutrition, rest and exercise, that's physical Power energy. Love nutrition. Then you need mental energy by associating with like-minded people. Yep. Us. And then you need <laughs> spiritual energy, like, for example, listening to great speeches like I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King. Sure. How appropriate today. Yeah, and we're going right. to play a little snippet of And that my too. favorite is to read great quotes, like my favorite quote from General George Patton, Accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. <laughs> you yeah. need some energy. I think yeah. you're energy. Could you please right, bring us more great. energy? So, Clint, you got to check this out because we took a camera around the building here to find out what people would do if it really was the last year of their lives. So, take How a look fun. at this. I would travel all over the world for sure. See all the different sites. That's probably be spend time with my family and friends. I would travel the world, see everything I want to, and spend as much time as I could with my family and friends. Spend as much time with my family as possible. Uh, go visit some family members I haven't seen in a while. Visit my mom up in New York, uh, family out in Arizona and stuff. And uh, I don't know, just try to do all the things that I never got to do, go skydiving. I would have fun, travel, um, hang out with my family and friends, and really not worry about anything. Um, take out a whole bunch of loans and <laughs> go travel the world and see all the sites. I will travel a lot. What you'd see there is what people's values Hands are. They down. want to travel and Fam family. family is family. I want to experience yep. life and I want to get close to the people that I really how, care about. How do you recommend somebody at home who probably has the same wishes get started on that today? Write down the list of things that are important. First, you got to commit to the to the to the project. You got to say, "I'm going to live these next 52 weeks as if they're my last 52." Okay. And then you make the list and you really focus in and say, "Okay, if I could only pick one, what would be the one?" That becomes the first big goal. Okay, perfect. If I could only pick another one, what would be the second one? Right. And you just got to 
prioritize and go for it. Got it. We love it. Thank you so much, Clint, for joining us. Don't forget the name of the book is The Last Year of Your Life. It's available online. And if you want more info, you can head to our social media sites.